what's going on everybody I'm your gaming host with the most the Tazzy Gamer TG and welcome to part 2 of Star Trek the video game uh, where are we going this way follow me Spock whoa okay I've got to remember what the controls are now oh there we go what do I do? no Yeah, I know. I believe we may be able to open those vents. Perhaps right. our phasers will work. Worth a shot. No, worth a shot. Whoa, she nearly got burned again. Let's try it. Oh! Keep shooting out those vents. Uh, let's see. What else? Whoa! Our attempt was successful. Right, get out of the cover! Ah! Well, no shit, Spock. Watch out! Oh, that one! Ah! That one doesn't even open. What about this one? Oh! Get out quickly! Go, 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 go! That was close. Uh, oh, she get in the cover. Something wrong with my thing. Here we go. Ah, oh, that one doesn't open either. Ah. What about this one in front? Oh, no. Whoa. Crap. Crap, get in. I'm trying, Spark. I'm trying. So I have to wait for this to go. And dash over there. Oh, quick, dash. Let's sprint. So I've got three choices. How about that one? Nope. Quickly, that one. No. Oh, yes. How about that one? Whoa. Go. Go, 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 go. Stand cover. Yeah, well, no spot. Didn't have to remind me, bro. So I know which one I have to go to now. There. Right, run. Oh, there's my sprint button. Run. Assistance with me. Wait for me. Wait, Captain. Yeah, good idea. Let's get him inside. Captain, life support is now at 4% and failing. Transporter is still unable to obtain a reliable signal. Let me worry about the transporter. Just get your people ready to be out. What are you waiting for? I was speaking to my captain. Your it's captain. Alright, Commander. Do as he says. Aye, Captain. Ah, Captain. I don't believe we've met. I'm uh, James Kirk, captain of the USS Enterprise. And you are? I am in need of assistance, Captain. Tamar? Mr. Spock, it is a relief to see you here. Tamar, in what way can we assist you? Our station has experienced a complete loss of power. Our transporter functions are also unreliable. There does oh, not well, appear to dear. be a safe way to beam out. There's always a way. Scotty, think you can get a lock on me? I'll try, sir. What's going on down there, Captain? That was a wake-up call, Mr. Scott. I need you to work a little faster. On it, sir. We should make our way to the transporter, Captain. Oh, after you. Good idea. Let's go. Where is so this transporter? I to know each other. We were classmates back on Vulcan. Just classmates. 
I realize this may be difficult for you to understand, Captain, but on Vulcan, relationships between the sexes do not automatically imply an intimate past. Oh. Another reason I'm glad I'm not a Vulcan. Let's go. Come on, Spock. Come on, you want, Captain. Ready and waiting for transport. See? There's always a way. After you, Captain. I will not leave this vessel until my crew is safely out of danger. As a captain yourself, I'm sure you would do the same. I like this one. There are a few that you do not like, Captain. Prepare to energize. Thank you. Oh no! Ah, what? What the hell? Ah, magnetic boots, of course. What now? The station's not going to hold. We gotta get back to the shuttle. Run! Run! Sprint! That's not sprinting. This is. Keep Run. moving. I do not think this station is salvageable, Captain. Oh, you think so? Brilliant observation, no Spock. Right. I know that. That's why I'm running. No time to watch the sunset. Run! Jeez. Talking about starting the obvious, the whole station's got to blow up. Just run for it. Let's look at Star Trek. I didn't even got into the um. Thing that's the second part. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, let's just get on with it. Get on with it. Ain't got all day. Whoa, whoa. Coming in for a crash landing. Oh, it's good that you could just fall out like that. Convenient. Are you all right, Captain? I'm definitely better now. Thanks, Captain. We have a problem. Another one? What is it, Mr. Chekhov? I... I think you need to see for yourself. To the bridge! Should not have caused the loss of power oh, we just got on an elevator. You know the origin of your vessel's malfunction. It did not malfunction. Uh, didn't appear that way to us. That station was used to harness the energy from the binary stars. However, all of the station's primary controls were operated from a base located oh, on a nearby there. planet. What planet? We are calling it New Vulcan. So it new is true. New Vulcan. Ooh, that's a new Vulcan. Spock, as you know, after the destruction of Vulcan, we have been searching for a suitable planet to rebuild our race. New Vulcan seemed perfect. However, a project of this magnitude would have taken generations to complete. In order to speed up this process, we created a device called the Helios machine. Your station was to harness the energy from the binary stars to power the Helios machine located on New Vulcan. Precisely. Two days ago, and for some unknown reason, the power to our station was shut off. Without power, our station could not withstand the gravitational pull of the stars. What moron would shut down the machine if they knew this would happen? That moron would be Sirach. Never heard Sirach. of him. Sirach is Tamar's father, and a great mentor to myself and the Vulcan people. Uh, sorry? Ooh, Why would Sirach shut down power to your station? He must have been aware that doing so would be catastrophic for you and your crew. Unfortunately, the Helios machine may have caused an anomaly. An anomaly? This just keeps getting better. We need to get to the bridge. We do need to get to the bridge. For another cutscene. Yay! Alright. 
Where's this guy? Where are we going? This way. Let's draw along in the cargo bay. Come on, you people. We need to get to the bridge. Get in. Spock, where are you going? Spock? In there. Spock? Spock? In the lift. In, in the lift, Spock. But, uh, right. Here we go. Thank you, Spock. Nice to know you listen. Mr. Chekhov, tell me something. It is highly unusual, sir, but I believe it's some kind of rip in the actual fabric of space. Like a wormhole? Something like that, sir. It appears to be a shortcut through space. Where does it lead? There is no way to know for sure, Commander. I believe that rip is the reason my father ordered the Helios machine to be shut down. Then we need to talk to him right away. Lieutenant Uhura Hail New Vulcan. Aye, Captain. It is no use, Captain. We lost communication with them when the Helios machine was shut down. Captain, scans indicate the rip is contracting. At the current rate, it will be gone in approximately 12 hours. Good. The fewer anomalies we have to deal with, the better. Captain, no response to our hails. Mr. Sulu, bring us in range of New Vulcan. We're going down there. We'll do that. Um. Okay. Spock! You disobey my orders again. Get in the lift, Spock. Get in the lift. I must request permission to join you, Captain. Spock, are you sure that's within protocol? I mean, maybe we should just send Scotty and some recruits. Captain, I hope the importance of New Vulcan is not lost on you. Our people cannot afford another tragedy. This planet is the best hope for our race to prosper. Noted. Then you should also note that having a Vulcan as a member of your away team would be essential to the success of this mission. And I am the only one on this ship that has ever been on the surface of New Vulcan or has experience with the Helios machine. Alright, alright, alright. Great. Yeah. Now there's two of you guys drive me nuts. Two Vulcans. Yay. Transport ready, Captain. My phaser, Mr. Scott. I've put some wee modifications on it just like you asked. I've been working on some other options too. I've got a phase cannons, photon disruptors, and wait till I show you these plasma rifles. Still working out a few things. My phaser will do, Mr. Scott. I guess you don't want to hear about the stasis grenades then. Nasty little buggers. But if you want your phaser, Energize. Energize, Mr. Scott. Okay, so we're on new Vulcan. At last. So that's Before where I'll leave it for now. Sorry, sir. Too much interference. I had to drop you outside. Right, when we finish with that thing, I'll leave it at that. Thank you very much for watching. Negative, Captain. Shut up. Shut up, Kirk. <sighs> I'll leave it at that. Stay tuned for the next episode. And also, while I'm talking about that, uh, stay tuned for an upcoming announcement. And as always, game players, game on. TG out.